Hey guys, this is Robin slash Asa slash cool person. It's been like, it's it's been over a month since I made a vlog and I said I would do one for my birthday AMA thing, which I have neglected, but for a good reason, because school started um, first week of September and since then I've been dreadfully, dreadfully swamped with all kinds of crap, culminating in a terrible calc exam tomorrow and an equally terrible oceanography presentation on Thursday, which I'm not entirely looking forward to, but I was like, hey, I gotta make this video, because people are sending me sad messages on YouTube. Like, Robin, where are you? I miss your I miss your janky videos. So that's so sad, and I wish I remembered your name, person who sent me that, that it just tucked in my heartstrings in such a way that I had to make this video. So here it is, the formal you may ask me anything because I'm so interesting of Asa gaming in uh, regards to my uh, thousand subs. Yay! Okay, so <clears throat> let's get started. <laughs> We're going to start from the top. I printed them all out. Sort of. I actually printed out all the comments so I could get really confused at some point and if I do you'll just have to forgive me and uh, and bear with my uh, muttering. Okay. <clears throat> I think Dwell probably asked me like 10 questions. I could be wrong. I mean, maybe, okay, wait, I'm sorry, Dwell. I'm sorry. Maybe, like, anyway, first, first Dwell. Hang on. Oh, okay. <laughs> the first Dwell question is, how much time do you invest in studying? Well, obviously a lot, Dwell. <laughs> how much time does an upload consume um, from the idea to the finished upload? Um, I spend way too much time studying. It's like the bane of my existence. Like, it's been really tough this year. I, if I, I guess I probably never said this, but I'm a geology major in my school. I love me some rocks, and um, this semester I'm taking a lot, like three science classes, like hardcore science classes, and then calculus, which has been really tough. There's just been so much homework and crap, and. It's taking a huge amount of my gaming time away to study for exams, and there's always homework due because they try to make you like stay on top of the material. So way too much. Um, as far as uploading goes, I've always said I've had really janky internet, and it is quite true. If I want to upload, let's say a 30-minute video or so, um, it's going to take me probably about two and a half hours to render it in Sony Vegas. Um, at that time, I can't do pretty much anything else on my computer because for whatever reason, Vegas is really memory intensive. And if I want to upload a half hour video at 480p uh, resolution, it would take me probably about three hours, maybe even four. Now if I'm doing shit, if I do, if I upload a guide, like a four or five minute guide in 1080p, it will take me probably an hour. Four minutes. Like, I have the shittiest internet ever. It's a disgrace. And that's what makes uploading me, for me, so hard um, for, like, Let's Plays and stuff because the only time I can upload is at night. Um, simply because whenever I am uploading, it noms the bandwidth of the entire house. And I certainly can't play anything while I'm uploading. And, like, it's hard for, like, members of my family to even surf the internet. It's, it's ridiculous. So... That takes way too much time. Um, and I guess I answered the other part of the question, too. Um, like, if I, if I do a guide, I know I haven't done one in forever. But um, that will usually take me about a week to make from start to finish. Because first what I do is I, um, I sort of get a feel for what I want to say in the guide. Like, I'll play some games, and then I'll write out, a, like, a very basic guide. And from there, I'll try to take points from the guide that I've written down and see if I can play more games to record those moments actually happening. So, I mean, usually I'm pulling from like four to seven games when I make those, just different clips trying to go along with um, what I'm saying in the guide. Um, but, you know, that takes a really long amount of time. <laughs> you know, Let's Plays, you know, don't take that long, but the whole rendering and uploading, that's the kicker. Um, also, he asked, what countries have you been to? Well, I've been to the United States and Canada because I'm so worldly. It's kind of sad, isn't it? I hope to change that very soon. Um, da, da, da. This is a really weird question by AJ Knight, who asks, How were you so good at Sonic's DX on PSN? If that was actually you, you, like, killed it. 
even with all the fails, you still completed the game. I think I was literally confused, and I sort of answered him in the comments, like, what are you talking about? Like, there wasn't an MPS, there was on a computer. Of course that was me! It was my voice! Like, I'm playing it, clearly. Um, and then he was like, you did really good, but you sucked at the same time. So I think he was just teasing me. So, I don't think... I mean, I'm, I'm so good at Sonic because... Pff, I'm just the best at Sonic. I love Sonic. Um, okay. <clears throat> Uh, that's not really a question. Can you show me that plushie in the back on the closet and seriously Lulu mid? Asked by Kevin, Kevin Baum 121. That plushie in the back on the closet. My closet's here and there's no there's no stuffed animals on top of it. However, if you're interested, I have this sweet um, wax replica of a Stegosaurus that I got in uh, Chicago. It's not quite a plushie, but it's interesting. Enjoy. Um, <laughs> Got, we got Mr. Man. My dad and I made Mr. Man when I was a small child. It was a plushie. And seriously, seriously, Lulu Mid. I haven't played Lulu in ages. Like, it, it might be fun. I should, I should watch my own guide and play Lulu Mid. She's not very good bottom. Well, in my limited experience of playing her at bottom, it's really hard to like cube because you're like, oh, I'm gonna harass you with my cube, but then I'm gonna hit a bunch of minions and piss off my AD carry because I just hit a bunch of minions with my cube. So. Seriously, Lulu Mid. Um, happy birthday, sweet. Marry me. Like, seriously, okay. But we're gonna have to move to Utah because I think I got like, <laughs> I think I got like a couple marriage proposals in here. So, meet me in Utah behind a, a dumpster and we'll get going with that. All right, this is my favorite question. Oh wait, that was asked by um, Mark Debeau. Debut. I think it's probably Debeau. Okay, yeah. all right, wink, wink. Favorite question, Hudson, asked by Hudson Therialt. Hudson Therialt, what is your gaming setup? Show us your build. Are you guys ready for this? Are you, you have no idea how awesome, you, you probably think I'm like sweet, I got like the coolest setup ever, you know, custom rig. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Um, I'll just cut this so that I'll, they'll record it. Okay, so I get to like cut that and do it with my sweet camera, so, so yeah. That's what I'm working with. See that floppy drive? See that? Bam! Camouflage. See that? That sweet desk? Bam! <laughs> awesome! Awesome technology. Oh, okay. I like this one. By Trampoline Squasher. Would you rather open, open mouth kiss Ryan Gosling? Yeah, it would be Ryan Gosling, not anyone else, because he's freaking awesome. But you have really bad garlic halitosis breath. Or have your life, likeness and voice acting used in an awesome video game, except you have to be evil. Like, you have to kill a little kid and puppy evil. Well, I would much rather kiss Ryan Gosling with horrible breath, because he's amazing. Like, if you haven't seen Drive, oh my god, he is, he is delicious. And you know what? Maybe he likes garlic breath. Because I really like garlic. I mean, I, don't, I probably wouldn't mind uh, being kissed with garlic breath, so maybe he's into it. It was in there. We can we can find that out. But yeah, um, I really wouldn't have a problem killing a little kid in a video game, but I couldn't kill puppy. You could have put anything in the first part of that question, and I would have done it rather than kill puppy. If you if you like really wanted to be extreme, you could have put kill a kitty. I probably would jump off a bridge before I kill it. Anyway, <laughs> okay. What's your favorite current favorite ice cream? Ooh. Ooh. You know, I bought some of that um, chocolate shell stuff. You know, you like shake it up and you put it on top of ice cream and it's supposed to harden. And it's like, it's nasty. I thought I really liked it like back in my childhood when they invented it. I thought it was delicious. But now it's just too much for me. So, <laughs> is that really related? I don't think so. But I don't I don't like that stuff. So, so yeah. But I, I love um, like cookies and cream, like stuff with like vanilla, but like crunchy chocolate stuff. Like, you know those cakes that you get at Baskin Robbins where it's like, it's ice cream cake, and there's vanilla ice cream, and then there's like chocolate crunchies in the middle of it, and then there's really dense chocolate crunchy stuff on the bottom. <gasps> that's so good. But yeah, that's my favorite. Definitely like cookies and cream, but less chewy and more crunchy. <laughs> you guys probably think I'm really weird. Um, that and that was asked by Treehouse Whore. <laughs> her, her. <laughs> I don't know if I said that already. Sean Matthews, you guys have like really formal YouTube screen names. If you have one superpower, what would it be and why? Like the real underlying psychological reason why. Um, if I could have one superpower, it would be probably to fly. 
that's so lame. Like, no, it's gonna be cooler than that. I'd love to be able to talk to animals, but I'd probably get really depressed because I'm sure, because you know, like, horrible things happen to animals all the time, and I don't, like, it'd be cool to, like, talk to, you know, Peanut and my pets and stuff, but to, like, be, like, actually aware of suffering of animals would be really depressing. This is a sad question. Um, can I, like, fly and talk to animals? Can I have a flying? Oh, okay. I wish for the ability to turn Peanut into, like, a flying, like, giant flying immortal Peanut, and I could talk to her. And together, <laughs> we would save the cosmos. Or if Peanut was, like, a time traveler, like a self-contained time travel machine, and I could, like, travel through time with Peanut. That would be sweet. And I could talk to her, of course. Of course. That, that's my superpower. Okay. Um, yay. Thank you for all the people who subscribed to me and said nice things. Um, no, I wasn't able to fix my headset. I had to get a new one. Um, no, apparently I'm not single because I'm mirroring all of these people in Utah. It's my birthday today. Wub wub. <laughs> wub wub. Um, serious question. Do you plan on playing Borderlands? Uh, no, not not right now, not until uh, it gets cheaper. It's asked by 02891. Uh, do I like Wub Wub? Is that a watch? And you linked something. I don't know. I thought Wub Wub was like World v. World and Guild Wars. I, I, I don't know how I feel about World v. World and Guild Wars. Do you? Th what do you think of Clap? This person's obsessed with like Borderlands. And they're, I, I don't like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm so confused. I like everything. Okay, I love Claptrap dancing to World v. World and orgasmic to Nan Can Awesome. How much do you love it? I love it a lot. I love it. That's great. Play with your viewers. Okay. Um, some people have been sending me friend requests on LOL. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I started accepting them. Um, the thing is, usually when I get on LOL to play, I'm usually playing with like, if you watch my videos, you see I'm playing with like the same four or five, well, counting myself three or four people um but yeah go ahead and send me friend requests and i'll add you and if i'm ever sitting you know fapping by myself <laughs> or maybe i get you into some games with my friends but go ahead send me the friend requests on lol and i'll accept them uh oops i think i'm 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 losing track of where i am oh dear oh i totally i'm so confused oh here we go <clears throat> Yo, Robin! Why am I so cute? Was that just... Boop, boop, boop. Joe Nagy asks, if you could make a league champion, what would it be slash do slash look like? Well, obviously, obviously, if you learn anything about my habits, it would have to be cats. But not Rengar, because Rengar is nasty and he pounces. It'd be a really cute cat, and its power would be to, like, charm people's cuteness. But not a slutty way like Ari. Like, oh, I'm a little kitty. And it's like, we have defensive curl where it would sleep. It would just like curl up in a little ball and sleep and haunt everyone. Like, to just face a little kitty. See, I guess the name would have to be named Peanut. Because I don't want Peanut to get in League of Legends. It would be Nucky. It would be the cat. So, <laughs> I like making this up as I go. So, I'm creative. So, the kid like have defensive curl. Would be me it's all so like a gale all except it would curl up in a root ball and sleep and I mean champions would be taunted. They wouldn't be able to do anything. It'd be taunted and like little hearts would go over their head and he would just be sort of scared a little bit. He couldn't be kitty. Like, what else should it have? Um Honestly a flight of bill tying in that question I don't know, um, <laughs> I don't know, they're right, um, that's, that's to be continued, uh, how much money do you have on my desk, <gasps> I have like $125 on my desk today, yeah, leftover book money, sweets, do you like turtles or cats more, obviously I like cats more, though I love turtles, like little, um, those red-eared slider little turtles, well, really tiny, and you get them, like, in the pet store for, like, a few dollars. Oh, they're so cute. They stick their little head up above the water and look at you. I love those, but 
I like cats more. I'd have both if I could. What's your favorite color? Blue. Absolutely. What's my favorite champion in LOL? Well, clandestine pig. Um, there's no pig champion in LOL. But there's Gragas. I mean, obviously it's Gragas is your favorite champion. Want to marry me? Like I said, Utah behind the dumpster. And we'll get that going. This is the gaming setup. See, I'm so dumb. Like, I have six pages of stuff, and that's like, got them all mixed up. Okay, I already did this one. Are you, oh my god, no. No, there's more questions. There's got to be more questions. Did the bullet? No. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, did this one. Did this one. Did this one. Um. Okay. I, I, is this it? Am I missing something? Cause someone, I think Vertigo asked me why my hair is so poofy. <laughs> and I can't find it. Damn it, I want to answer that question, but I gotta find the page it's on first, yo. Psychological reason. Page numbers are your friend. Like, if you don't have page numbers on your pages when you print them, consider doing that. Absolutely. I'm trying to get the best in study. Uh oh, I think my phone's out. Boom, 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 boom. This is bad. Without a doubt. Well, anyway, I guess because I can't find it, I'll just answer it. Berto asked me, like, what do you do with your hair to make it so poofy all the time? Like, what is the magic that you use? I'm gonna kick my dog in the teeth, I think. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. It's the longest video ever made. Ever. I got the hiccups now. Yeah, there freaking is. It was like a million questions. Well, I guess I'm just gonna answer them from here. Okay, so there are like a billion more questions. Ugh. Okay, so now that I'm, I have to like go from the channel itself because I apparently, wait a second. Okay, after that horrible delay, okay, let's go to the next questions. I have to read off my computer, I guess. Um, do you accept random friend requests in your games? I use Steam Ball, blah, blah, blah. And will you love me forever? It's Huy by Danny White, 28. I now do accept random friend requests, um, but only for a little, for right now. Uh, <laughs> I'll see how that goes. Um, just asking about what server. I play on Crystal Desert on, uh, on Guild Wars 2. So what the hell? I mean, you can add me if you want on Guild Wars um, why the name ASA, or does it stand for Association of Educational Service Agencies? Because that is a weird acronym to go by, by Heaven's Meat. Um, the name ASA originates from WOW for me. It was the name of my paladin, human paladin, of course. I don't know, um, no. Frick, I know what ASA came from. I was, like, I like to use, like, <laughs> this is gonna sound so conceited. Not really. Um, like, names for mythology to name my characters. Um, and I found Asa on like a like a minor Greek goddess website, and apparently Asa is the personification of destiny or something like that. She's a very minor uh, character, and I just like the name. It's short and it starts with an A, so cool, and it's easy to pronounce. So that's great. But yeah, that's why I stuck with it. Um, thanks for that question, he Heaven's Meat. 
Has anyone said you resemble Ariel from Little Mermaid? No. That's a new one, the big warthog. Uh, thank you. Oh, dear. I think I might have moved my... Oh. I think I sort of messed up my camera a little bit there. Sorry. Uh, how often are you in front of a camera? You seem so comfortable. Oh, Dwell. Dwell's got his next round of questions. Um... I'm really answering these out of order. I'm kind of going like super ADD. Um, uh, <laughs> um, Dwell's first question, how often? Never. I mean, this is the only time. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm so comfortable in front of it. Maybe because I'm used to talking to myself. No, just kidding. I don't know. It's just, uh, I guess, a natural thing. Uh, your hair. Ooh. How much time do you put into uh, spending making it that awesome? Seriously, this majestic lion mane makes it. <laughs> I actually don't do anything to my hair. This is how it is. It's just really thick. So I wake up in the morning, wash my hair, um, and then to dry it, I just like, sort of like, <laughs> I bend over and I like, just dry my hair, the hair dryer, upside down, and it just pops up like this. So yeah, I don't do anything. Um, who is smarter, Louie or Peanut? I'd say Peanut, definitely, because she's a girl. No, um, Louis is just a goofball. He just likes to have fun and be silly, and I think Peanut's a little more, a little more calculating with her movements. Uh, when did you start using Ace as your online name? Um, my paladin, wow. Favorite Sonic theme? <gasps> oh, Knuckles. Knuckles rap from Sonic Adventure 2. 2. I got the Sonic Adventure 2 uh, soundtrack when I was a wee child, and I still like to pop it into my car, and I, I know the entire Knuckles rap. And maybe, like... I can, I can definitely see myself making a Knuckles rap video eventually if I've had enough drinks in my system. So, you know, be on the lookout for that one, 12. Um, Lord Judgment 1818 asks what my favorite 90s cartoon was. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I'd say Dexter's Lab, definitely, or uh, Powerpuff Girls. And I used to play Powerpuff Girls in the playground. I'd always be Blossom. <laughs> um, in Pokemon, God, there's, there's too many. I don't know. I love 90s cartoons. I wish, uh, you know, Pokemon's on Boomerang, for those of you in the U.S. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. It seems like they have a lot of the 90s shows around Boomerang now. My greatest fear. What am I most afraid of? I don't know. That's a deep question. It's a deep question, intervenience. Um, I don't know. I mean, I... Dying, I guess. My family dying. My pets dying. I, I don't know. It's, it's not appropriate. That's not an appropriate question for us. It's supposed to be upbeat. Um, I don't know. Yeah, sad face. Um, do, 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 do. Would you trauma llama dee 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 da danga langa fling flang de boop de boop by Vrail Numbers? Yes. Yeah, I would love to do that. Thank you. <laughs> um, Feathers McGee 90 asks Robin, how often do you spend each day working on your vids and what qualify or what qualities do you find attractive in a man? Ooh. Um, well, right now, because of school, I haven't been spending obviously that much time making videos, but when I do, I mean, that kind of goes back to the guide question at the very beginning. <laughs> well, I guess I kind of turned it into a guide question. You know, it can. I can easily take a few hours editing something, like if I'm doing one of those highlight reels that I did, like uh, with Dominion Games or uh, ARAM, that can easily take me an hour and a half, you know, gotta cut everything and then find good music, that's always a huge pain in the ass. Um, I mean, guides can take up to a week. It really varies, but it takes a lot of time. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it, because you think, oh, you know, just put some clips together, but... Uh, it, it does take a lot of effort, so so be nice to YouTubers, because we put a lot of time in our stuff. Um, oh, here's the Vertigo thing. Your hair is amazing. You're like a majestic lion in space. Thank you, Vertigo. You're so nice. Ooh, uh, Vertigo also asks, um, who are your top three favorite video game characters? Ooh. First one, gotta be uh, Solid Snake. Absolutely, from uh, Metal Gear. I love him. He's like my... This is gonna sound horrible, but like, he was like my my first true love. I just I um, started playing Metal Gear, um, 
Um, first, I, I watched my brother play Metal Gear Solid 2, and I was obsessed with it. Like, when it first came out, you know, rented it from Blockbuster, and I watched him play it, and I loved it. I, like, I loved the character. <gasps> that reminds me, I didn't even answer the question about attractive in a man. Well, I guess I can answer that. Sorry about Solid Snake. <laughs> um, oh, God, I'm getting so sidetracked. Um, I don't know, he's, just, he's a cool character. He's, he's rugged, and he's... Um, you know, calculating, but, uh, you know, he's got a, a love interest, I guess he's got, like, a softer side, and, uh, oh my god, I mean, I know it's not the same character, but, like, Big Boss and Snake Eater, you know, the, the interactions he had with the boss during that game was amazing, the whole stuff with Eva, oh, heartbreaker, so I guess they're kind of, they're one and the same for me, and then, uh, I love Sonic, uh, you know, really confident, crazy character, um, could my third be? Oh, Nathan Drake from Uncharted, obviously. Amazing. Freaking. Oh, mm, I like him. Yay. <laughs> so, going back to the question about what, what do I find most attractive in a man? Um, <laughs> I think my biggest thing is um, a guy who who appreciates what you do, like someone who sort of never stops appreciating you and makes it easy for you to kind of reciprocate that toward him. Like never, like in relationships, like never take things for granted, never take people for granted, never take what they do for granted. Um, that's my biggest thing, like that and, and sincerity, I think, you know, not saying things because you think that's what someone wants to hear. Like, I hate it when when guys will bullshit me. Like, um, you know, um, just saying things because they think that's what I want to hear even when, you know, I know otherwise. Like, to give an example, um, there was a, a stupid guy. Uh, I, I sent him a paper that I had written or that I had uh, written most of. And... This girl, uh, my partner, wrote the rest of it, and her stuff was horrible. What she written was either garbage or she copied it from Wikipedia. And I sent him the, the paper, and I was like, oh, my God, like, look at how shitty this is. And what I had written was at the beginning, and then what she had written was sort of mixed in, but it was mostly at the end. And he's like, oh, like, he read my introduction. And he's like, oh, this is shit, Robin, ha, ha, ha. And I was like that's what I wrote. And he's like, oh, well, I only meant like the first sentence was bad. Like, like he just was like laying on the bullshit so thick and it made me so mad. Like, you gotta be honest with people. You know, don't, don't tell me something that I, I that you think I want to hear. That's not real. You know, I, I, uh, I treasure, <laughs> I treasure a guy who keeps it real, I guess you could say. That's, I mean, that's my biggest thing, you know, I, the type of person, like, your, your character is what I, I really care about, you being honest and upfront, always, that's the biggest thing, um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, Kaz Kane asks, how tall are you? I also, 34, 24, 34, <laughs> uh, I'm 5'5". Um, I'm not gonna give you my measurements. Come on, I'm skinny. <laughs> you could, you can take away whatever you want from that. Uh, <laughs> um, Golden Joker asks, if you could quit what you're currently doing, would you become a professional role player if the opportunity arose? It's hard to. I mean, I could. You could even interchange that with like professional YouTuber. I, it's hard to say because everyone wants to make. A lot of money doing what they love but part of the reason I love science so much is I love being able to understand like common processes in the world like I'd love to be able to look at something and instead of just being like oh you know that happens just because it does like I know why it happens and that's really satisfying to me and I, I love I love finding that stuff out like I love going to class every day because I learn something new about how the world works every day so I don't think I could give that up. I mean, maybe a mix of both or something, but uh, science is a huge part of my life. It sounds so dorky. <laughs> um, 
I guess that's kind of it. Um, is your real name Robin? Yes, my real name's Robin. So uh, middle name's Catherine. Robin Cat. Yeah. I guess that's it. I don't even know how long this is. Uh, probably gonna have to edit out a few good parts of it, but um, I hope you enjoyed uh, learning a little bit more about me. I hope I was interesting. I don't care. <laughs> I guess I don't mind if you don't. Um, after this week, once I'm done with my presentation and my exam, I got another astronomy exam on Monday, which is going to suck, but after that I'm hoping there will be a lull in the action so I can uh, make some ARIM videos. Um, I don't know about making Guild Wars videos as much because I think the funnest thing to make videos on is probably like the vistas or like the jumping puzzles and a lot of you have already done that. <laughs> so. Um, Maybe I'll do some more Guild Wars videos. Um, I gotta finish Darksiders. It's funny, I stopped playing Darksiders pretty much at almost the same point as I did last year. <laughs> the first time I played through. But I'll, I'll get working on that. Um, so we'll see. Uh, thank you again, guys, for watching and subscribing to my channel. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later.